All right, what is up YouTube? We're back with another how to sound like video. So in these videos, I get you to comment a, another artist for me to do in the comments down below. So go do that if you have an artist that you want to see me make a video on. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing Oliver Tree and he was actually suggested by three people, Mateo, Demetrio, and Luke. So Oliver Tree is from California and he makes like electro pop, indie rock kind of music. In this video, I'm gonna be making a song like that, and I'm gonna be using all Ableton instruments and sounds so you can follow along with me. All right, quick announcement before we hop into this. If you have not joined my Discord yet, I highly suggest you to do so. If you need a place to send music and get feedback, you can easily do that there. I'm also starting a new thing called the Weekly Sample Contest in which I'm gonna be giving out free samples to y'all, and. I want you to flip it your own way and then I'll make videos and choose winners from that discord contest Let's hop right in. All right So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is setting the BPM to 135 because we kind of want a fast-paced rock pop kind of song. All right, let's just throw in an instrument and to start the song I want a synthy instrument but not too powerful. So kind of like a calm synth instrument. So we're gonna be going to uh, synth keys and I'm just gonna try to, wait, this could work. Yeah, let's just do this. So we're gonna draw out a MIDI section, control shift M, and I'm going to draw out some chords. All right, so as you can see, I got a little carried away but this is what we're doing. So we have our straight EP right here, and then this, here, let's color these pink. And then this is the glass piano. So I have the glass piano and the straight EP str playing the same chords, but they're in different EQ ranges. As you can see, this one's focused more on the mids, and then this glass is touching up on those highs. So together, these both sound like this. and I played some um, <clears throat> ninths in here, spice it up a little bit. And then as you can see, I have this little reverse pad. And what this is, is basically these chords, but as you can see that they, they're reversed. So the way I did that, I actually ended up just recording this pad. So insert an audio track, click right here, and we want it to be recording the pad. So now we're gonna hit record. And then let's just solo both of these. So I went like this, and then I just got this guy, hit reverse, and it now sounds like this. So that's how I did that, and that kind of just fills up the space. I wanna make this the chorus. And then this is gonna be another verse section. I wanna throw in some chords right here. Or I could actually just say no chords and just have a heavy bass. So let's work on the bass right now. Insert MIDI track, let's make it red because I make all my basses red. Go to your instruments and we're gonna go to bass and where is it? Yeah, right here. This is a really uh, gritty bass, and it's exactly what we need. And I also threw, threw on a um, high pass filter to take off those highs. And it just, I think it adds a lot more character, you know? And as you can see, I also threw it in um, on the first verse, but can't really hear it. But what's happening is I'm actually bringing the bass slowly in, so like, once you get over here, you can start hearing it coming in. And then that's when, it, when the drums are gonna come in. Right now we're missing a chorus, we're missing drums, and I might throw on a melody, but I kind of wanna keep this chorus, you know, just kinda dry with drums, this bass, and then those reverse pads. I feel like that's all we're gonna need as long as I figure out a way to execute the vocals. All right, so I think I want a melody to be in this bridge, and that's the only time I'm gonna have a melody because I don't want this beat to be too 
complex that it's going to take away from the vocals. So I think I'm just going to throw in another straight EP from our synth keys. So it's going to be the same instrument, but I'm going to make it sound a little bit different. There we go. All right, so here is our melody. I threw in some Valhalla reverb, and then I also moved it a little bit to the right with the bass. It's really, you know, powerful. Okay, I'm, I'm getting excited. Okay, so the only thing we're missing now is drums. I want there to be two different kind of drums. So on the chorus, I want more of a live feel. So I'm gonna be throwing on reverb. As you can see, I created these return tracks, and this is where I have my reverb. So one is for the kick, one is for the hi-hats, and one is for the snare. The way you use these is, let's say we have this glass pad right here, let's solo it. So we come over here, and as you can see, I'm using hi-hat reverb. One, two, three, one, two, three. So without any, we have this, but as you raise this up, Obviously, we don't want that much, but the reason that using return tracks is helpful is because it'll lower the amount of CPU you have, because you won't be having a reverb on this track, a reverb on this track, a reverb on this track. You just have, in my case, three different reverbs, and we're using them all on every track. Now let's work on the drums. So, like I said, I want two different kinds of drums. This one's going to have more of a live feel. I'm going to be throwing more reverb on it. And then I think this one's going to have more of like a poppy feel. So a technique that Oliver Tree likes to do when he has more catchy drums is he'll have like, I'm just going to show you, I'm not probably actually going to be using these sounds, but let's just say he has something that does like this. He'll just have catchy drums where it's instead of one clap, it's, it'll be three in this case. Something like that. All right, guys, so I threw the drums in. So let me show you what I ended up doing. Like I said about the multiple claps, I did that with this part. And then here are the chorus. And these drums are a little bit more lively. So a technique that I did for the kick on these chorus drums is I have two kicks. One is gonna be my low thump, which is gonna give you those lows that you look for in a kick. But I also wanted something on the highs to kind of give a reverb and make it feel more lively. So I threw in this kick right here. But with the kick, you get this. And that just makes your drums feel a lot spacier. So as you can see, those hats are a lot more powerful and noticeable than the hats in the verse. And the hats in the verse that I used were just some regular hats, but I threw on some erosion and EQ. So they originally were like this, but I threw on some erosion to add some more character, and then I just took some of those highs out and obviously scooped a lot of the lows out. And then I also moved them 34 to the left, so with all the drums, it has a cool sound to it. Because Oliver Tree likes to do that with his hi-hats sometimes. All right, so now let's move on to vocals. I'm gonna be singing about losing my mind, not really knowing where I am, something about a girl. So yeah, let's get to recording. Alright guys, so here is our vocals. Um, let me just solo it real quick. So, Oliver Tree likes to have multiple vo voices in his vocals. 
So if you haven't seen my how to mix vocals video, I would check that out. In that video, I explain how I made this little template on how to mix your vocals. So here's our main vocal right here. You can see through my eyes and tell me how I'm doing. So my voice is awful, obviously. So without two more voices in this verse, the vocals would just sound pretty bland. Let's give it a shot. I mean, it doesn't sound bad, but it just doesn't have that Oliver Tree style to it. So here is what you need to do to get that feeling. So our main is just full blast, whatever volume it's at, that's where it, that's where it is. But as you can see, these other two vocals, I brought this one down three dBs, and then I brought this one down four. So the first one, let's check this out. As you can see, I take off a little bit of those highs, and I move it 24 to the right. She can see through my eyes and tell me how And as you can see, I threw on some reverb, but I think that might be a little bit too much. She can see through my so there's that one, and then here is part three. And it's the same concept, basically, but this one's more focused on the highs, and it's moved 30 to the left. So both of these together... She can see through my eyes and tell me how I'm doing. We have that. But as you can see, I didn't just record once and then have three different tracks. I actually recorded twice, and as you can see, this one and this one, those are the same audio clips. But this is actually me just recording the same lyrics, but you're always going to get a different sound every time you record. So having different ways you enunciate words, it's going to add that really cool Oliver Tree vibe. So I could have actually recorded it three times, but I was too lazy. So I would suggest doing that if you are spending a lot of time on the track. So all together, we get the Oliver Tree multiple voices vibe that he has with his song. So let's give it a quick listen. She can see through my eyes and tell me how I'm doing. I guess she knows how I've been, so I should just stop moving. I don't know too much, but I'm so a really cool part of the song is the last chorus right here. And what I did is I actually uh, chopped my vocals up because Oliver Tree is a very talented producer. So he does this kind of stuff in, in his music all the time. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. So if you know Oliver Tree, you know the way he enunciates his words and just the way he sings on tracks. It's really unique. I tried to do that, but I failed miserably. So I ended up just, you know, playing it pretty safe vocals wise. But if you can find a way to get your voice to sound like that and then use the way that I mixed um, the voices with multiple tracks and panning and stuff, then I think you'll get a really good Oliver Tree type track. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Join my Discord. Peace. She can see through my eyes and tell me how I'm doing. I guess she knows how I've been, so I should just stop moving. I don't know too much, but I'll get through it I can't see the stars yet